Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Rambeard, and today we're going to talk about an old but treacherous Alliance soldier, Major Samuelson. Not much is known about Samuelson's youth, but it must have been a most promising recruit to the Stormwind Army, as he made it to head of the King's Guard as soon as the vanilla days of World of Warcraft. He seems an honourable man, and we interact with him for a bit as he gives us a quest to check on Lieutenant Farron Orinell, a man Samuelson was a mentor to in South Shore, Hillsborough Foothills. Orinell isn't too fond of this transfer from Stormwind to South Shore, as he tries to spend as much time in the inn as possible. This leads to us cleaning up some Murlocs in his place. Back in Stormwind, Samuelson just leads a calm life, and there's no major changes in his life for the duration of Vanilla Warcraft up to Wrath of the Lich King, but something must have been eating at his soul, stirring up crazy thoughts. Waking him up at night. Something. Something. When the cataclysm hits, King Varian Rin eventually sets up an expedition to the Twilight Highlands, and we are to prepare the expedition together with the Prince and Wyn Rin. Samuelson is supposed to task us with the investigation of Twilight's hammer activity in the city, but he acts a bit weird when he tasks us with interrogating dock workers who don't seem to know about anything. Anduin's knee in mind thinks that Samuelson does not want us to discover anything, as he would be on a hot trail himself and would want all the honor to himself, so we search his files. But no, not a single thing on the Twilight's hammer. We do find an awful lot of information on bombs in his files, just now a large shipment of bombs has gone missing at the docks. All this puts Samuelson in a pretty bad light, but there's no proof yet. The missing bombs are quickly found when an SI7 agent directs us to the Black Bishop underneath the Stormwind Cathedral, and we manage to deactivate them right at the last possible moment. Under the bombs lay some files, a list with all Twilight Hammer cultists in Stormwind, and a message from Samuelson stating the entire scheme. Here's what he says in the message. Your Holiness, Chogar has given us a directive to move forward. We're going to wipe your cathedral off the map. When a spiritual center of Stormwind is reduced to a crater in the center of the city, panic will spread, and disillusioned peasants will flock towards our true religion. I'm sending the explosives your way, for the hammer, for Deathwing, for the glorious new world to come. Samuelson. This is rock hard evidence and we take it to Samuelson. At this point he doesn't even care anymore and he instantly admits. He goes insane and starts attacking the king. Anduin is quick though and he shields Ferian. Only then do we see how deep Samuelson was in all this as he transforms into a beast from the depths. Uh, an abyssal squid so to say. He is attacked by the city guards together with us and we end this petty life. So sad to see such a most promising man go devoured by maddening whispers. The king thanks us, we leave for the Twilight Highlands, and we never hear from Samuelson again. Thank you for watching, and have an awesome day.